What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to do verified product research. So when I say verified product research, basically what I mean is finding those products that are proven to sell. They have the information, the data, and the evidence behind them that make them a proven products that you can start selling today. So if you've been doing hours and hours of product research, just scrolling through Ecom Hunt or AliExpress, struggling to find that kind of one golden product that you really want to commit to, or perhaps you've been testing dozens and dozens of different products and you've struggled to find that one product that gets that traction, actually makes you a profit, then this is the video for you. So today I'm going to show you how to cut that process down to a matter of minutes. And I'm also going to give you my five step checklist of criteria that you can apply to any products that you find. And if it meets the criteria in this checklist, then you know you've found yourself a great product. And so with that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something new. If you do, make sure you hit that like button so I know what kind of content you guys want to see. And of course, if you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. Thanks again, and let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the tool I'm going to be showing you how to use in this video is called Dropper Spy. The reason I like Dropper Spy so much is because all of the information and data that it gives you is all legit because it comes from Facebook. It comes from external sources. So you know, and what I'm going to show you in this video is that if it meets these criteria, in this checklist, then it means and makes that product a great product, a verified product that you can start selling today. So for anyone out there who wants to try and see results as quickly as possible, then in my opinion, this is definitely the best way to go. And just to illustrate how quickly you can get results and when you have the right product, then let's take a look at this store here. So October 1st to October 6th, we can see there were no sales. If we go from the 1st to the 14th, we can see there was a bit of a slow week. This is the testing week, just trying to establish essentially where the interest is coming from, what ad sets, what audiences, so on and so forth. But as soon as you have that kind of verification of the product and you start ramping up your ad spend, if I go for the entire month of October, you can see that before the end of the month, we were actually able to hit that 1K day. So in less than three weeks, we were able to scale the product up to $1,000 every day. And this is what this whole product research strategy and kind of premise is built on. So with that being said, then let's drop into Dropper Spy. This is actually a tool I paid for myself because I liked it that much. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I think it comes with a free trial, so definitely head over and check it out. But I obviously have the paid plan. And the biggest difference to my knowledge, if I remember correctly, is that with the paid plan, you get results from the last two months. So from your dashboard then, what we need to be doing here is applying a lot of filters because this isn't just tracking Facebook posts from the UK and the US, it's just tracking globally. So a lot of these, if we scroll through, you can see aren't really related to e-commerce whatsoever. So what we need to do, we need to get rid of this first and then we need to hit our filters in the top left corner. What we'll do now is we'll just go through and basically eliminate anything that isn't related to e-commerce or related to Shopify or related to dropshipping. And that way, all of the posts and all of the results in which we'll be looking at um, will be potential products essentially um, we can add to our stores ourselves. So no need for a text search. Post creation date is fine. We can leave that blank. The first change we're going to make is in our target audience section to the actual country. So we're going to go for the US and we're going to go for the UK. These are the two kind of most popular countries in which a lot of people drop ship to. Me personally being based in the UK, I have more of a focus on the UK. But using this method, if you find a product that's selling well in these other countries, and you can't find it, say, selling well in, let's say, Australia or New Zealand, then it definitely opens up an opportunity to take this product to a different country. So we have the US, we have the UK. Language can be blank, sex can be blank, and so can age. The domain is blank. The econ platform we're going to go for is Shopify. That way we increase the kind of chances of actually finding another dropshipping store, which makes it more replicable. What we're also going to do is we're going to select different call to actions as well. So we want shop now. So obviously we're focusing on posts where people are selling things. If we scroll a bit further down, there's two others in which I like to use as well. So buy now and one more, I believe just below it, which is order now, which brings us on to the next section then, which is reactions. So what we're doing here is we're setting filters for, we're telling Dropper Spy essentially to only show us posts which meet the criteria which we're setting here. So for example, if I was to draw this slider for shares across to a thousand, it will only show us posts that have a minimum of 1000 shares. And this is where I like to start as kind of like my starting point. Obviously the more engagement, then the more kind of money has been put into an ad, the more popular it is, and the more interested an actual consumer or audience is in that post, otherwise they wouldn't choose to engage with it. So we have the US and UK, we have 
people selling on Shopify stores. This is really important too, because once you've found somebody's Shopify store, then obviously we can use their product pages, we can use their websites as inspiration, and we can use our free Chrome extensions too, um, to see exactly what their best selling products are. So. We of course have the call to actions of shop now, buy now, order now, and a minimum of 1,000 shares. So if we start scrolling through and try and find something that kind of catches my eye. So I tend to stay away from cat stuff. I'm not really a cat person, to be honest, I'm more of a dog person. This looks like a cool product, but also looks like a super cheap product too. I try and stay away from really cheap products. And then we have a super absorbent pet bathrobe here on the left. There must be something good about this because it's got nearly 30,000 engagements, 5,000 comments, 13,000 shares. Um, so let's have a look at this video then, see exactly what this product is. Um, so it looks like it kind of slips over the head and it's got a wrap on the bottom and also one for the head too. So this is actually a pretty cool product. I've never seen this before actually. Um, something I'm actually gonna, and it goes under their legs, what we can see. This is actually a really cool product. Um, especially for this time of year in the UK, obviously it's winter time. Um, in fact, I walked a dog this morning and the amount of time it takes after a walk to towel dry your dog down where, whereas this solves that problem. It shortcuts that whole process and just makes somebody's life a whole lot easier. So I think genuinely I'm actually gonna order one of these um, and sell this myself. So we can see, in fact, if we open this up and just have a look at the comments as well, um, on this post. So now that it's loaded up, we can see all of the information behind the product. So this is a proven, verified product. There's no doubt about it. At 13,000 shares, these guys would have made a lot of money. We can see the actual ad copy they've used too. We can see the description at the top. So we can definitely use that as inspiration if we want to sell this product ourselves. And then what we can also do is go into the comment section and look at what people are saying about this product and look for people who are saying that they've bought this product and they actually like this product as well. So now that we've found on the surface what looks like a really good product, we'll need to apply our five point checklist just to make sure that it is indeed a verified product and it's worthy of testing. It's worthy of investing in an ad copy, paying an influencer to produce some content or perhaps producing that content ourselves. So point number one, it needs positive comments in the last two weeks. The reason why this is key is because a lot of these posts, especially if you're using the free plan on Dropper Spy, they may be posts from last year or the year before Whereas if we can find comments which are less than two weeks old, we know this ad is still active, we know people are still interested in it, and therefore it makes it a great product to start selling today. So from the comment section, what we need to do is rather than hit this most relevant button, we need to go to newest. And when this expands out, we can see that this product was from two weeks ago, this comment story was from two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, one week, two week, and so on and so forth. So we can see this is still an active product, and therefore that is point one checked off. Point number two is over a thousand shares. We already confirmed this by using the droppers by filters. Point three is there needs to be $25 room for marketing. So if this product costs us $10, we need to be able to sell it for a minimum of $35. And that way we have plenty of room for Facebook ad costs or whatever platform it is you're using. So to check this, we need to do two things, obviously. We need to, first of all, we need to go to their website and see exactly what these guys are selling it for. So we can see once everything loads up, um, nicely, they're selling it for $25, which is actually very, very cheap. However, they do have a bundle offer, so it may be a case that people are buying perhaps one, two, three, maybe even four of these things. What I've found personally myself selling in a dog space is that a lot of people do actually have two or more dogs and dog owners tend to have friends who are also dog owners too, and they tend to buy things for each other. So now that we've found what these guys are selling it for, we obviously need to head onto AliExpress and see if we can find this exact product from a decent supplier so we know whether we can actually sell it ourselves too. So let's put in here dog, uh, let's go for dog robe, see if anything comes up under this search term. On the top right here, that looks like something very similar. This looks like very something very similar as well. We can see that not a lot of these have many orders too, so this could actually be a really good sign that it's a brand new product to bring to the market that not a lot of people will have seen before. So let's check out the video to see if it is indeed the same product. So it slips over the head, it's got like that neck guard um, that kind of folds down. Has it got the one that goes under the belly? It has, so this is pretty much exactly the same product, if not an identical one. 
Um, and these guys are selling it for £8.54, or it gets a bit more expensive as you go up in price. It makes me wonder how these guys are selling it so cheap. In fact, it may be a case that it's just converting so well that they're able to get away with selling it that much. Or perhaps there is a kind of high percentage of people um, actually buying more than one at a time. So point number three, $25 room for marketing. It's a bit iffy that one. It doesn't really match the $25. However, these guys are still selling it currently. Um, so there must be something going on behind scenes that we can't quite see, or perhaps they are just converting that well. So it's definitely something that would still interest me or a product that would still interest me in testing. Point number four, it needs to be targetable audience on Facebook or whatever platform it is you're using at the moment. So this is obviously dead easy to do. We can head into our ads manager, head to the detail targeting section box and just obviously put your niche in and make sure you can actually laser focus and narrow down on your exact audience. And then point number five, is this product in trend or is it evergreen? So in trend means it's currently on an upward spike in popularity. Essentially more and more people are looking for a product like this. So if we have a look at the Google Trends info, we can see Dogtail search term in the UK 2004 to present is currently on an upward spike. The weather here has been pretty miserable for the last few weeks, if not a couple of months, and it's gonna only continue for the next few months too. So this is definitely a product which is on the upward trend. Essentially what evergreen means is there's always new people coming into an audience. So if you find a particular the product that's selling really well today and it has an evergreen audience, it may be a case that that is actually a really good product that you could continue to sell for the next 12 months and beyond. And so as you can see in the space of five to 10 minutes, we've found a really good contender for a potential product in which we wanna actually move forwards and test with. This is something that actually really interests me myself. If you don't know, I've been selling in the dog niche for a few years now. Perhaps I could even record a series around taking this product, building a store around it, testing it and see what kind of results we could get. If that's the sort of thing that you guys would like to see and like to follow along for, make sure you let me know down in the comments section below. And so with that being said then, as you can see, the process is very simple and very quickly. Obviously when it comes to actually selling a product well, there's so much more that actually goes into it in terms of the actual store you build and the design and the structure and kind of setup of it. There's the actual ad itself. You can gain a lot of inspiration using this method I've shown you today. But if you do wanna learn more and actually work alongside somebody who has done this stuff, like I've demonstrated in this video, I do have an accelerator program where me and you can work alongside each other for 90 days and I'll take you through the whole process. Think of me as like your business partner, someone to go to for support, guidance and ask your questions and for 90 days we can take you from scratch all the way up to having a fully fledged functioning business making a thousand dollars a day like I showed you in this video today. If that's something that interests you put Accelerator in the comments section down below. I'll reach out to you. I'll send you across the information. We could perhaps hop in a call and talk about your goals and what you'd like to achieve and what you can get out of the program whatever it may be. So with that being said thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.